When someone dies, there are a lot of things people say to console those who just lost a loved one. And a lot of those things have a religious basis. For that reason, you probably don't want to say them to people who are atheists. Just to be clear, I know a lot of these things are said with the best of intentions. Sometimes you just want to say something because you don't know what else to do. And I'll be the first to admit, I've said some of these things without even thinking about it. But if you're religious, I want you to know how some of these statements may come off to people who don't believe in God or the afterlife. God only gives you what you can handle. Well, I can't handle this, so God needs to stop playing games to test my limits. Unless he wants to kill me too, which apparently isn't out of the question. It's all part of God's plan. What horrible God creates a blueprint for my life that includes the death of a child, or a life-threatening disease, or multiple surgeries, or heartache? I feel bad when I have to swat a mosquito in my house, so God must be some sort of sadist. Everything happens for a reason. No, it doesn't. That suggests that someone out there is the puppet master, and we're all just actors in some messed up script. We can always find meaning in a loss, and we can always bounce back from a major setback, but there's no reason to believe someone died so that we could recover from it. No one needed to die for my personal development. He's one of God's special little angels. He was special to me too. If God's gonna get him forever, why couldn't I have him for just a few more years? He's at peace now. He's not anything now. He's in a better place. How is being six feet underground better than being here right next to me? He's looking down from heaven. Then I guess we made eye contact because I just rolled my eyes. He was too perfect for this world. Really? And that's a crime punishable by death? God called him home. If God wanted him home this badly, why did he let him come out and play in the first place? He's in my prayers. A little too late for that one, don't you think? Now you have a guardian angel. Oh, so God needed to take a vacation from watching over me so he killed someone to take his place? So, if you are religious, what should you say to an atheist who lost someone? How about these? I'm sorry for your loss. You and your family are in my thoughts. Is there anything I can do for you? When you're ready to talk, I want you to know I'll be here for you. Here, I made you dinner. If you have any other sayings that I missed, or ideas of what religious people could say to you if you ever experience a loss, please let us know in the comments. My name is Hemant Mehta, and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. Leave a comment below, and we'll be sure to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe.